Hey everyone, Dave here, the NC Picker, and I'm back in my garage. After a nice weekend of relaxation, well, kind of relaxation, theme park relaxation. Does that count? Because it's kind of exhausting. I'm generally more exhausted when I come back than if I were to have stayed home all weekend, but still, it was nice to have some family time. My parents came, my kids, my wife, you know, all that, the whole shebang. And yeah, it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, we just got back today. It is Sunday, like 5.30, 6 p.m. I've got a ship. We had a real traumatic moment, traumatic, dramatic moment on uh, Friday, which we'll talk about in a minute because it's going to get in my way. First, let's pull a movie that we sold at an FL25, although it's probably not an FL25, right? Because we removed all the DVDs from the thingy, the bins, and we put them over here. So we're looking for In the West, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J. So anyways, on this channel, guys, I sell on eBay sometimes other platforms, but generally just eBay right now. I really do need to get into cross-listing. I never really... Actually, I should look into this. This is what I should look into. Or maybe you can just tell me if you guys know. But the reason I never really got into the whole cross-listing with, what was that app called? Flip. Which is free and it's good and all, is because it doesn't have a phone app, right? And I like to list on my phone. Tina lists on her phone. Neither of us list on a computer and flip is exclusive to like computer workflow. So it never really worked for me. Where would I have put this? Something about the West, but would that be in the W's or the I's? Hold on, let me look at the I's first. Indiana Jones, Interview with a Vampire, Independence Day, and then we're done with the I's. So it must be with the West. Cure S-T-U-V-W. It might be this. No, I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's lost. Hold on, here's a couple I never sorted. No, it's not there either. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so maybe... Tell me if there's a cross-listing app that allows you to use your phone. I guess I could Google it. Into the West. Brand new factory sealed. Four disc set. Oh, so yeah, drama. When I was listing or shipping the other day. I don't, I don't see this. Do I go look again? Am I... Is that the definition of insanity to keep coming and looking knowing I didn't find it? H-I. Into the West. Into the West. Well, I don't see it. This is a good start. It's always a good start if you can't even find your first order to pull. Typical Dave. Into the West is missing. And you guys got that? <laughs> Maybe I'll buy it from you and cross ship it. Cross list it. Wait, cross list it? Cross ship it? No, that's not the word. What is the word? Drop ship it. Anyway, so let's talk about the, the drama that happened. And I'll pull the next order because I give up on that one. Uh, but basically, what happened was I packed all my orders. What was it? Thursday night? Yeah, Thursday night. And... Maybe this is old. Hold on. Check one more thing. No, it's not. It's so weird. <sighs> Anyways, packed all my orders up Thursday night, was waiting. You know, I put them all out front, which I normally do. I scheduled a pickup for the mailman. And then the next day I go and I start, you know, working. I do my day job. And then I was leaving a little early. I think I left at like two or three in the afternoon. The mailman still was not here. Okay. And, you know, I didn't really think much about it. Cause you know, I figured, hey, the stuff's out front, he'll pick it up. This Elmo sold, a little kissy face Elmo. Very cute, little six inch bean plush, three inch. This says three inch, but I really think it's bigger than three. Hold on, I'm gonna measure it with my phone. I always use my phone, cause it's like seven inches. Yeah, this is much closer to seven inches, so I might get a complaint on this one. Bigger than I have it. I have it listed as three inch for some reason. Well, anyways, so good start. Uh, the plush is the wrong size. I can't find a DVD. We're doing great, we're doing great. But let's pull the next order out of FL6. It'll be, it'll turn around here, trust me. So anyways, we're out there and we're about to leave. We packed up, we're getting ready to go to Universal. And as we're like walking out the door and packing, um, the rain starts to pour down. Like just standard, typical Florida life, just gushing water coming from all angles. What am I picking now? Now I can't remember, hold on. Come on brain, wake up brain. Think, think, think. Oh, I found it. Okay. And, you know, I didn't even think about it, but Tina did, of course, because Tina's always, you know, thinking about stuff like this. She's like, Dave, your packages. And I realized that all my packages were out on the front kind of walkway area, but I hadn't really put them under the overhang. So they were like just exposed. We go out there and they're all getting wet. Every single one of them. <sighs> and we're on our way out the door. People are waiting. My parents are already on their way. We're supposed to meet them for dinner and blah, 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 blah. So. We just do like a rush job. This sold, this is a red octane 
Guitar Hero microphone, sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Did not sell fast. And so we just grab all the packages and we run them inside and just spread them across the floor like this. <laughs> all nice and separated, wipe them down with a towel because they were getting wet, put on my dehumidifier in the garage and bailed because we had to go. And so none of my packages that were supposed to go out Friday went out. And it was funny because like 10 minutes later when we're like about to drive out, we're getting in the car to drive out, the mailman pulls up and he's like, hey, you got a pickup today, right? And I was like, well, unfortunately they all just got wet. And he's like, all right, I'll put them as not available. And so, I don't know, the timing just worked out horribly with that one. Okay, so I've got department 56 I've got to pick up that I've got to pull from inside. So we'll go grab that in a minute, but uh, we'll skip it for now and we'll pull a cassette, which says TD1, which is top drawer one, but it might actually be on our little hanging uh, cassette rack. So I'm gonna check there first. But yeah, that was pretty frustrating, I would say. Here we go. Um, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, Eagles? Eagles, yes. Hotel California, is that right? Yeah, you ever heard of it? <laughs> I've heard of that one. Sold that for $8.90 plus shipping. Not bad for a cassette. I'm sure I paid like 50 cents or less for it, so not bad. <sighs> but yeah, so none of my packages went out and it was very frustrating. And so now they're all kind of late, like a little bit late, a bit on the late side, but I figured I had to bring them in as they were wet. And I'm gonna check through them and see if there's any that are like still damp or I might even have to open a handful of them and see if there's any moisture inside. I think I got them pretty quick, so I think they're okay, but I sold this book, Civil War Best Photos Of, and it's kind of cool, like just old pictures, like literally from Civil War. I thought that was kind of neat. That's why I picked it up. Sold that for $6 plus shipping. Yeah, it was the best offer. I think I had it listed at eight. Better than nothing though. All right, so Dez came in and ordered some stuff. Dez has bought from us before, so I appreciate the order, Dez, always. And it's an FL80. But yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I'm a little stressed, guys, and I'm gonna tell you why. I've got, well, not because this Lion sold, but this Lion did sold. This is a Commonwealth brand Lion that I got a yard sale with. Who was with me? You know, Carrie might've been with me, Carrie and Dawn. But yeah, I think he's just really quite adorable. He's got the Commonwealth tag on him. Those are okay, they're not an amazing brand, but they do okay. Sold that one for $16 plus shipping. But no, the reason I'm stressed is because I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. I've got, okay, I don't know if I told you my dentist story. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but basically the moral of the story is I have to get a bunch of tooth work done, which I am not a fan. I procrastinate on that stuff. Like, and it runs in my family to have like issues. <laughs> Not like terrible teeth issues, but just like over time, they start kind of, you know, deteriorating. <laughs> and I've got this situation now where I have like a couple teeth I've been ignoring that had fillings and the fillings have fallen out over the years since I had them. I haven't had a cavity in a long time. I do have one cavity, they said right here, that I'm gonna get fixed as well. But a bunch of my old cavities that I got when I was like a kid have like started falling out. Um, and so there's like these gaps where the filling fell out. I sold this Winnie the Pooh as well to Des, and that's a, that's a nice big poo. <laughs> that was unintentional, but I am a child, so I'm giggling at it. Des bought a big poo <laughs> for $14.99 plus shipping. Very adorable uh, Disney store brand, so nice. But yeah, so I've been ignoring it for a while, and I was eating, I think Chex Mix, <laughs> and uh, another piece of that, one of the worst teeth fell out, and it's been bothering me now. Like, you know, generally it bothers you if your teeth start falling out. And it's just that most of the tooth's still there. We don't need to get into the details. I know I've got some dental hygienists, you know, watching. So I figured, you know, I'd give all the details. But no, basically I have to get a bunch of work done. And since a lot of these, and so I, I have this theory and tell me if you think this is true. And I know any dentist watching is gonna be mad that I'm even saying this, but I have this theory that when I was growing up, my mom was taking me to a quack. And this person, like right as soon as, well, even when I had my baby teeth, convinced my mom to get me so many stinking fillings. I was constantly getting fillings when I was a kid, like just nonstop filling, 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 filling. I think I had like between baby teeth and big teeth, I think I ended up having like 29 fillings done as a kid. Like that is insane. And I honestly think, ooh, so much just fell, that the dentist was a bit of a quack and was just trying to convince my mom to spend more and more money. Uh, not necessarily that I had the cavities, but that's, Besides the point, the important thing is all these fillings are not holding up, you know, through the test of time. So now I've got these issues, but here's where I'm at. <laughs> oh, you know what? This is a video game. So this probably isn't in here. I didn't even think about that. 
I moved my video games too all over to the shelf. So anyways, they, they say I need three crowns, three of them, three crowns. I've never had a crown. Are they bad guys? Comment, let me know. How scared should I be? Cause I'm pretty scared right now, but should I be more scared? -er? <laughs> and I have the one filling. So I've got four things I need to get done. Not only that, but I'm a tooth grinder. So like at night I grind my teeth which is one of the reasons the fillings fall out is because I'm like constantly just like chomping. I don't know. This is like way too much information. Uh, Mario and Sonic sold on the Wii. This is used, sold for $12.99, went to Brooke, who is a viewer. It is complete with manual. Hi, Dave. I'm a big fan. I look forward to your videos every week. I'm new, new to reselling. I've learned so much from you. I watch all the others. You are definitely the most relatable. Thanks for all you do. Brooke, P.S. would love a sticker. Okay, I'll try to remember a sticker. I forget a lot, so it's good to remind me. But yeah, I'm not looking forward to a bunch of dental work. And so the first one, the first crown is tomorrow. And I have no idea what to expect. I've never had one done, but I am terrified. <laughs> and I, I, the problem is I get like crazy anxiety in the dental chair. As soon as I walk in, I get like super nervous. I don't know. I, I think a lot of people have that. I think for most people, they'd rather go to the doctor than the dentist. But let me know in the comments if you disagree. Uh, okay, so Gunfighter 2 on the PS2 sold. This was a good little, a little score for PS2. It's got the Peggy rating, I think, which is like a different country. I think this was like an import someone bought. PAL, yeah, see how it says PAL at the top? P-A-L. So it was an import someone bought, which makes it worth a little more just because shipping it over here is expensive. Sold it for 40 bucks plus shipping. Not bad. It's the best one so far, I think, actually. But yeah, anyways, so dentist tomorrow. Ugh. And then not only that, I've got travel coming up to bottom shelf. I've got a bunch of Department 56 I gotta pull. Uh, well, wait, we'll pull all the Department 56 at the end because they're all still inside. But I'm traveling too on, I don't even know. I should probably find out. I think, is it is it this weekend or next? I think it's this weekend. I think it's, no, you know what? It's Monday. <laughs> Oh, we got to pull our winner too from our uh, Doc McStuffins, not Doc McStuffins, Doc Emmett Brown uh, NECA action figure giveaway. We got to pull that, pull the winner for that and we'll do that in a second. But no, it's, uh, okay, so I sold two Hummels. This one, this little dude, little happy little fella, and this little lady here. She sold for 12, she sold, he sold for 10, so 22 bucks. I paid $20 for my whole entire lot of Hummels that I bought, so it's, you know, that's paying it off. And then I've got like 10 more listed up on top of my shelf over there. So pretty good. Oh yeah, I was saying I would pull all the Department 56 at the end of the video. I think that's what I was talking about, but hopefully it comes to me if it was something else. Look at this, Dez actually ordered a bunch more stuff. So let's pull some more stuff for Dez's order out of FL68. Actually, no, this is not gonna be, okay. So these are video games. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna try to remember a bunch of them. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Namco Museum, and Monopoly. Let's grab those first. Th that's three to remember. Harry Potter and the Namco Museum. You guys help me. If I forget, I've already forgotten. <laughs> no, I remember. I remember Namco Museum at least and Monopoly. Um, boom. Where's Namco? Boom. And where's Harry Plopper? I mean, I can't. Yeah, so I remembered all three guys because I already got two of them and now I'm pulling the third. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Harry Potter. Okay. All right, so we just got three PS2 games that sold. So that's pretty good that we remembered that. I'm proud of myself. Did you remember too? We were testing our memory. Harry Potter, which one is it? Goblet of Fire sold for eight bucks. You know, Bolo, not alert. Namco Museum PS2 sold for eight bucks. <laughs> and Monopoly PS2 sold for nine, 11 bucks, actually. Not nine, 11. So that's pretty good. And then, okay, we got more video games. Can we remember three more? IHRA, drag racing. That might be under P for professional drag racing, or I, anyways. Trivial Pursuit and Transformers. So let's try to grab these ones. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's definitely going faster though, pulling them from over here like this. Uh, QRST. Okay, so we want to do a whatnot. What kind of whatnot should we do though? I mean, I should do one. Definitely should do. Oh, I was talking about my trip. I remember, <laughs> uh, I was talking about how I'm traveling and I was trying to figure out when I'm traveling. I'm traveling next Monday. So today is Monday for you, not for me. For me, it's Sunday. I love how we always have like the days of the week section of the show. <laughs> for people like me who just can't remember the days of the week, we like to just go through them once a show. Um, 
was yeah, I'm going to Los Angeles on Monday. So I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. Oh, I got a, got something in the mail. We gotta look at that too. Uh, <laughs> I'm all over the place today. I'm going to LA on Monday, Los Angeles, and for work. I'm gonna be in Los Angeles for an entire week. So it's gonna be a little bit crazy, but we'll make it through. Transformers PS2, I might have less content was the story I was getting to. I might have less content that week since I'm gonna be out of town. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, okay, let me grab Brain Age from FL14. All right, so Dez bought this too for five bucks. Uh, but yeah, so I haven't gotten the DS games on the shelf yet. I'm slowly getting there, working my way towards having everything on that shelf, FL75, but I'm not quite there yet. So DS games are not on there. And I also have like the CD issue where I'd love to have a place, my CDs. I have a place for my cassettes, I have a place for my DVDs, my games. I'd love a CD shelf, CD shelf. I got the hiccups randomly. Uh, so this little bear, it's a teddy bear, build a bear, also going to Dez. It's called the Velvet Hugs. Very soft, softer than most. Oh, this is anti-allergen. Um, it's like an asthma friendly one, $14 plus shipping on that. One. Definitely has a different feel than the other Build-A-Bears. Is that everything? I think that's everything on Dez's order. Good, 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 good. Piggies, we sold a couple NC Piggies. They're sold out, they're all gone. I don't expect to have any more Piggies probably till next year, but I do have some stickers and stuff. So if you wanna get some little piece of NC Piggy, Memorabilia, the stickers are available uh, on my website there, ncpiggy.com. But yeah, so the work trip, Hazel, <laughs> Hazel's here. Hazel, what are you doing? But yeah, so that trip is gonna be, I don't know. I guess it's good, you know, but it does obviously break into my free time. I'm not gonna really, actually I am, I do think I'm gonna pick because Carrie's gonna come out and meet me. So I think I'll get some picking footage. I just won't get much in the way of uh, flipper videos. But you know what, I'll, I'll still record something, guys. I'll at least give you like a travel vlog, which I know not as many of you will watch because it's not gonna be that focused on flipping. But if you wanna watch it, check it out. Flashdance, original movie, 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 blah, 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 movie motion picture soundtrack for $4.49 plus shipping. Maybe I'll try to find some LA based stuff in the evenings, in my off hours to check out. But let me know, guys, if you live in the Burbank area, you know, maybe we could uh, meet up or something. I mean, if you're not a murderer, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like I should say that just to be safe. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so I sold this Hummel. My Hummels are moving. This one has this little boy with two goats, like a, a goat herder Hummel sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. Not bad. Let me uh, grab this package. Let's see what's in it. This might be a return. I'm not sure. Came from, oh, this came from a rural squirrel. Squirrel, actually, I don't think, I don't think I'm supposed to open it. Never mind. I'm not going to open it. I forgot about that. I'm doing a uh, podcast with them um, on their podcast, which is, I uh, can't remember what it's called, hold on. <laughs> it's the Ladies of Reselling podcast. We do the Trash to Cash podcast, but they have a podcast called Let's Do Lunch, and I'm gonna be on it. So I'm supposed to open that on the podcast, so I won't do it right now. Oh, but this goat herder sold for 20 bucks. That's pretty good for a Hummel, 20 bucks. That one there pays for everything. Oh, where did my orders go? Okay, I forgot, man, I gotta do a podcast tonight. I have a lot tonight going on. I really, <laughs> I really like to stress myself out by going and gallivanting, as my mother would say, at theme parks when I should be working. But I also really think it's important to have a balance where I do have some weekends where I have fun and I'm not just working nonstop every day, every night. So even though I end up paying for it later, I think it's worth it, you know, for the family time, stuff like that, just to get out, oops, and uh, do some fun travel. I'm concerned about this. Hold on, this is a Logitech keyboard I sold, but it don't see like a wireless dongle. Usually you need a wireless dongle, unless it's Bluetooth. Is it Bluetooth? It doesn't say Bluetooth. Man, I think we're gonna have issues with this. I'm gonna, I'll look it up because generally you need to have like a little bit of this like little wireless dongle thingy, but maybe this one doesn't need it. Let me look here. This could be full on Bluetooth. I'll, I'll look it up before I send it and I'll message the buyer if I think it's not gonna work for them. Uh, it might though, K350 wireless wave keyboard. Does it say Bluetooth anywhere in here? No, it doesn't. Anyways, if it's sold, it's sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So <laughs> I might end up having to cancel the order, which is why I say if it's sold. Oh, we sold a pin, a Disney pin, good versus evil Dalmatians right over here. Let me grab this here. Yeah, it's an easy pull right here. That's uh, what, what are their names? Mr. and Mrs. Dalmatian. Oh, here it is. Pongo and Perdite. Perdi, Perdi, Perdita? Perdita? Hmm, I don't know. 
<laughs> but anyways, they sold $6 plus shipping going to someone named Deborah. I don't know if that's a viewer, but I read her name anyways. Uh, FL5, we sold something. Oh, and then, oh, see, we got a lot of Department 56 we got to pull. And I might just turn off the cameras while I do that. Oh, look at this. Donna has some news. Donna did an order, and she said these will make fantastic presents for my future son-in-law. So it sounds like there's a marriage coming about. Uh, thank you for the wonderful deals. Good luck on Q4 sales. Oh, Q4 sales. Where are they, guys? <laughs> I, I don't really see them happening. Actually, this is decent. There's a lot of orders um, right now, so I'm not, I'm not too upset about it, about the amount I got while I was away. And we didn't, we didn't really list anything either. All right, so in here, she bought a Pokemon thing. Yeah, here we go. This is, a, oh, I'm falling. Okay, hold on. <laughs> that wouldn't have been good. Okay, all right. Oh, speaking of falling, we need to talk about that too. Okay, so this Pokemon package, brand new, sealed. Got it at the Prison to Profit meetup I went to. It was like a reselling convention. This isn't one of those Amazon bin stores where everything is seven bucks. It sold for 20, so it's decent. You know, it's decent. After fees, I'll get like $17. So I'll make like $10 profit on it. Not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. That's the, the issue I have with a lot of those Amazon bin stores, though. It's rare that I'm going to get some huge find there. Another bottom shelf. Oh, this is a good one that sold. So speaking of falls, <laughs> today we went over to... Oh, that's really weird. Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, today we went over to... What's the name of the park? Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Why don't I see this thing that's sold? That's weird. I must be on another. I wrote shelf and... Oh, here it is. Look, it's hiding. It's hiding under there. Uh... This is what sold, I believe, Ashwick Lane. Is that right? Department, let me look. Let me just make sure this is the right thing. Slay maker. That is not a slay maker. Let me put down the camera, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. So this is a big bolo on the Department 56. It's a slay maker shop. Santa Slay Maker North Pole series. Sold that for $150 plus shipping. So definitely a big bolo on this Department 56. Really nice. So anyways, I'm at the theme park and my kids love the mummy, which is a roller coaster. And I love it too. Let's be serious. I love roller coasters. What is it? Where are these at? Where did I put all these? And so, you know, I was trying to show them some cool thing in the line where if you both put your palms on there, it like shuts off the lights. And so my kids went ahead of me and I was like behind them. And, you know, we did the cool light thing and I sold these four O snaps, just, you know, jumping around on topics. And, you know, it worked, it was cool. And they keep going in line. Everyone's behind me is like passing me. I'm like, oh man, I need to catch up. So I said, go try to catch up. And I'm like, yeah, I'm young, I'm cool, I'm hip. I can just jump over the, the railing thing, the rope railing. And I tried and I succeeded. <laughs> Look at that, you expected that to go differently except for when I tried it the second time when I failed miserably and like the rope moved and got under my foot and I fell, you know, four feet down right onto my hands. Luckily my hands were there, but my wrist is hurting so bad because it caught my body weight, which is not insignificant at this point. <laughs> and so now my hand really hurts. I feel like Adam Banks in the Mighty Ducks when like Coach Bombay tells him to take the hockey stick and like turn it. And I feel like I'd fail. That's a really weird, obscure reference. Uh, this sold as a bundle, three for $85. And this one sold as a one pack for $32. So about $110 worth of O-Snap phone grips there. These are moving. I'm gonna sell through them pretty quick here, I think. Okay, I've gotta go pull a bunch of Department 56. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go through the, what's sold on the Department 56 thingies. First off is this gazebo thingy which had no real like sleeve. It's just got the, the box. So I'm gonna have to wrap that extra good. That sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. Then we sold these trees. These are holiday holly topiaries for 10 bucks plus shipping. We sold the department 56, hold on. This thing is huge. And I honestly thought when I comped it, I comped it for more, but the number I gave you for my total was the number that we actually listed it for. So that still stands. This is the Victorian Village, Victoria Station, I'm sorry. Giant one sold for only $38, which I expected more out of it. But it just proves size of your Department 56 does not mean it's worth a lot. And there's one more, King's Road Cab. King's Road Cab, it's a little cart and horse sold for, uh, t -t -t -t. let's see, where is it? I can't find it. I know it sold, must have been a while ago. $15 plus shipping. I need to find that DVD. I had this thought that maybe the DVD is in the actual bin it's labeled as. Let me check that. Also, I have an issue. I just sold something. Maybe we'll save that for the next video. We'll save that thing that just sold for the next video because that's like, 
Well, I'll just say this. I'm going to check FL25 and see if it's in there. I'll say this. I sold something that was a return. Okay, someone returned it. Why is this up here like this? And I kind of, like, I do this thing. It's really bad. This is another Dave bad reseller tip. All my returns go to my P.O. box, and I don't get to my P.O. box that often. And so generally, if it's like a moderately low dollar item or like a return just because they didn't want it, not a return for, uh, you know, disrepair, not working, whatever, then I'll just go ahead and I'll issue the refund without actually seeing the item, which is a bad habit, but I do it from time to time. And that is what happened. Someone sent back a walkie-talkie set that I got with Kevin and Troy Mountain Man Treasure. You probably saw the videos, like these vintage AT&T phone things. They're really cool. Guy returned and said he just wasn't happy with the range that they worked at, the range of their wireless connection, which, you know, and he's like, not your fault. I just didn't realize they didn't have very far range. You know, it's an old item. I wasn't even alive in the 80s, so I just thought they were cool, so I ordered them, so I'm sending them back. Sent them back for a refund, and they arrived. And since I knew there was nothing wrong with them, he confirmed that they worked. I just went ahead and I did, yeah, return, accept return, send refund, and auto relist. The auto relist was the accident, and now it's sold again, <laughs> but it's in my P.O. box, so I can't ship that tonight. We'll ship that next video. We gotta pick our winner though. Okay, I found Into the West. It was in the actual bin where it's supposed to be. Brand new sealed DVD sold for $15 plus shipping. <sighs> okay, let's take a look here. Is that everything? I think that's all our orders. A ton of orders. I got a ton to do tonight, but we've got to pull our winner for the Back to the Future thingy. Let's see how much total orders we got though. That's not, that's not English, right? That's not good English. How much total orders we got. How many total orders we got and how much are those total orders worth? This is English class with Dave. I might've still failed at it, but I tried to do a little bit better. Uh, hold on, let's see. It's not showing me, hold on. $865.05. 23 items sold this weekend. Hey, almost a thousand dollar weekend. I love it when that happens. Let's pick our winner. I say I'm impressed. 657 comments. That is, I think, a record for one of my videos. Filter duplicate users, so I'm punching it in here. Wait, I gotta put my URL. Hold on, they got a tool for this. I really need a haircut. <laughs> I'm looking at this video. One of these videos pinned on my page. I had like a fresh haircut and I'm like, man, I wish I had a haircut right now. Get YouTube comments. Oh, I've got to do five plus eight, 13. It's asking me math problems to verify I'm a human. 200, 300, 400. So it's, ow, my wrist hurts so bad. I can't even hold my camera. Uh, I'm gonna use two cameras today because my wrist hurts so bad and I couldn't feel, like I, I couldn't hold my camera. So I've, you might notice multiple angles because I'm using two cameras. Now let's see, total 629 comments and we're gonna pull the winner right now the winner is gonna get wait should we show the prize first you know i love building suspense right i'm a storyteller at heart back to the future doc emmett brown neca action figure brand new sealed how awesome is that let's pull the winner right now here we go and the winner is dun, 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 dun. um you <laughs> I can't say that name. Okay, I'm gonna try. Br Brigida Laredo, thank you for your comment. You wrote, you're one of my favorite YouTube stars. I'm not a YouTube star, but thank you for the compliment. You always put a smile on my face and there are many times you make me laugh out loud. Continue doing you. Okay, cool. Brigida Laredo, congratulations. You have won Emmett Brown, Doc Emmett Brown. Make sure that you email me, ncpicker35 at gmail.com. That's ncpicker35 at gmail.com. Shoot me an email. Let me know you're Brigida and that you won the prize. And um, let me know how horribly I'm messing up your name because I think it's pretty bad. I think I'm messing it up, but maybe not. Maybe I'm doing a perfect pronunciation and you're gonna be really proud of me. Let me know. Okay, so I look forward to your email. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back next time. Have a good night.